Hey, opening statement. Um, I thought I thought we played. Uh, I thought we had a hard fought effort. I think that it's tough for us to to combat a uh, nine point deficit in the first half, and 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 think that we're going to be in a position um, to take a, a marginal lead in the second half. Uh, I thought that the second half USC Aiken was was a different team than the first half USC Aiken. Um, we matched them from rebound rebound. We matched them turnover turnover. And in the second half, we matched them point for point pretty much. Uh, but the name of the game is, is 40 minutes. And I, I commend our guys. I think that in the second half, we did a great job of fighting and battling back. But I tip my hat to Montevello. Um, every time we made a run, they boom, they made a big three. Uh, we cut it to three, they nailed a shot. Um, we cut it to three again, they nailed another big three. So I have to, I have to tip my hat to... Um, to the confidence that uh, that Montevello played with, um, the swagger that they that they brought to the table, and uh, we just got to we, we got to be prepared to to play for 40 minutes. And when you don't play 40 minutes against a good team like Montevello, whether it be home or on the road, you got to figure out a way. And and that's that's that that at the end of the day was uh, the game right there. Coach, uh, you know Montevallo had a lot of success shooting the ball in the first half. I mean, it dipped a bit in the second. Was that? Do you think more due to adjustments you guys made, just more intensity they played with? I mean, what did you see contributing to that? I think intensity played a part. Um, it, there were minor adjustments, X's and O's wise, but I, I don't think that, that that played as big of a role as as the guys just gritting it out and making sure that they're physical in the post. They understood that. Uh, they went five for eight from three, and that means that the rest of the shots are, are either driving finishes or they're, they're paint touches or rebound putbacks or free throws for that matter. So uh, we made some adjustments in the second half, but I think more than anything it came down to um, value in our home court and making sure that a team just doesn't come in here and play harder than us. And in the first half they did. In the second half they didn't, but it was too late. Um, 20 minutes doesn't work. You know, we don't play that 20 minute half. We got two. We got two halves of uh, basketball, and, and we got to figure out a way to put uh, a 40 minute stretch together before we can we can make this run. You got a uh, double double from uh, from Tavares Sledge. He was able to uh, to make some big shots for you guys. How have you kind of seen him just sort of progress in the uh, in the few games that he's been on the floor for you? Well, he's under he's understanding that that his role has got to be uh, the key word versatility. For for us for for us to be successful, he's got to utilize his strengths on the perimeter, but he's also got to take advantage of his height in the post. And right now, he's shooting a high volume of shots from three, and he made 40 percent today. He went four for ten, but I, if we can divide some of those shots and get a higher percentage in the post, I think it'll be a little bit better for us. But I don't think that's a knock to Tavares. He ended up having 12 rebounds. I mean, you want you want to show that you're tough. Go get rebounds. Uh, figure out a way to do it the right way and out tough somebody by, by putting more stats on, on the rebound column. And he did that. Um, but that wasn't a problem for him. Um, he, I thought he played good. I just think that for us, um, you know, he's going to have to figure out that rhythm and that continuity of playing inside out. And, and we're going to have to find that rhythm as a team to, to mesh. I mean, this is his third game back. Uh, we played two hard games on the road, and Montevello's uh, won, a, won their division five straight years in a row. So they weren't going to come down and lay down. Uh, so. I think Tavares. Uh, I think Tavares makes us better. I just think that we're going to have to find that flow, um, and, and it'll come. What can you uh, just kind of take from this game, from you know the second half, as you guys look to put together a, a forty-minute effort uh, in your next one? Uh, you know, I, I think that that's that's something that we just continue to put value value on and emphasize. I, I think it's nothing more than showing game film and helping those guys realize you know what it takes to to play at that level. Um, you know, we, we're in a situation right now where, you know, we, we've got to gain a little bit of confidence by getting a win. And when we get a win, you know, we're, we're going to create that momentum that's going to avalanche into to some, to a string of W's. But right now, um, you know, there's a little bit of frustration, and, and I understand why. You know, anybody that's in this situation um, is going to be frustrated. Uh, shoot, we're all frustrated. But uh, you, you, that doesn't stop you. You got to figure out a way to to keep battling back and being positive and uh, me being self-aware, understanding where you're at and what you have. Uh, but at the end of the day, you you got to do what you can with with uh, you know with, with with the situation you're in. So um, you know I'm proud of the guys for battling back in the second half. But the first the first half effort wasn't something that um, that I was that was fond of.
Yeah. Thank you, Coach. Absolutely, man.